let's talk CRT, which is oh. ru- which is ruining a lot of really cool things. And yeah, like I'm not a like I'm not a big fan of like some some of these climate groups because I I don't necessarily agree that that we're in as bad of a situation as they say they are as we are. But that's neither here nor there. But this it's a New Zealand chapter of Greta Thunberg's linked climate movement disbands itself for being racist. <laughs> They're not oh. actually they're not actually racist. Well, technically they are because they believe in CRT, but they're not technically racist. They just they just thought that there was too many white people. No, no, they're racist because they want yeah. they <laughs> they want everyone to stay in their own lane, which is which is basically segregation. Mm-hmm. They, these people are in favor of segregation, which is racist segregation is not something that we need to be recreating no like all these colleges that are saying that we need to have specific dorms for black people yeah oh my god we did that like what the 50s (laughs) jim crow baby people died to make to make that stop yep a lot of people yeah a lot of people on you know white and black did a lot of work to get that to go away and now it's coming right back because these fuckers are racist that's racist i love that i love that gift that people post in our in our chat room occasionally it's got that kid that's yelling that's racist but he's got like the watermelon and it's chicken <laughs> yeah it's oh my god <laughs> okay so in in a facebook post a school school strike for climate Auck, climate's auckland chapter said it was shutting down because it has been a racist white dominated space. <laughs> it directed people concerned about climate change to indigenous led groups and said it would not or not be organizing any more climate strikes. So the problem here is I don't give a shit if if I was a person that was doing like this climate change stuff. I wouldn't give a fuck what color your skin is as long as your message is correct. And right. Like, Oh, my glasses just came apart. Give me one second. I'm going to put on my other pair. Yeah. This is... I'm I'm having a bad day. (laughs) We are professionals here, folks. The the (laughs) duct tape is extra, extra thick today. Yes, it is. Hey, we're doing a great job, though. This this is great. So there is a little bit of sanity in this article, though. And this is it right here. This is identity politics gone mad. One Auckland woman. Am I saying that right? Auckland? Auckland, yeah. Auckland, a woman wrote in reaction to the Facebook post in a comment that captured the reaction of many others. Every action, every voice is needed and valid. Right. Begging you as a mother not to stop. Yeah. So, like, again, I don't really agree with him too much either about this climate stuff, but like, you know this their movement the 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 sane people <laughs> are seeing the cannibalization the the self deleting here of <laughs> their movement and they're like hey guys we need as much help as we can get doesn't matter see this this person isn't racist the other ones that disbanded the group mm-hmm. they're racist so which just, is which is probably good why they disbanded because you don't want a racist a racist group. I just I just had a thought though. So what? the the whole thing here is um the identity politics, so the race-based yeah. identity politics is somehow superseding the need to save the planet. Exactly. <laughs> How, in who's in who's like like uh, at uh... like brain is this a thing that that needs to supersede that? Like, like I said, who cares what color your skin is if you're trying to save the planet? Exactly, that's the whole point. And like this, this next uh, sort of next one you have highlighted, uh, I'm a little concerned that this sends a message of division or that not everyone is needed. Well, yeah, that's exactly the message it sends. This is, this is just. In my opinion, this is just more fuel for segregation to resurface. Mm-hmm. It's it's just what it's trying to do, but they think it's for good, but it's not. 
and it's actually making their activism mean nothing. Yep, it's sad. It's 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 so, oh my god, it's so stupid. And then uh, you and got then, this, this last, last one here. It, it did not make sense to me. Let's see. I'll I'll read it. Then you can give me your your opinion. Uh, you get into a cycle where frontline community groups are expected to spend all our time essentially making white organizations less problematic rather than actually being able to do the critical work we need to do on the ground to stop climate change and to protect our communities, she said. That's exactly what I was just saying. Like they're they're spending more time like making the making the white organizations less problematic. So like getting rid of the white people and the quote unquote whiteness that is within these organizations that they feel is also a problem. And they're spending more time doing that rather than focusing on the issue that they started out with in right. the first place. Right. Right. This is so fucking, this is so fucking stupid. But at the same time, I, I think it's fantastic. Cause like, like how, how long have you and I been, you know, predicting that these woke tards would have, eventually cannibalize themselves well, the problem is the problem is and this is a good example of it is you're never woke enough right they're always gonna like like those movies like uh like i saw a thing of that was uh, some saw an article earlier about the new loki show and they're like this isn't the type of representation that we needed you're like we did they, they literally countdown to you and gave you an entire show about a about a trans god oh yeah and it's they're not like good enough and they're like, no, we don't want this kind. Fuck off. 